everyone! Today, I'm going to show you how to steam purple sticky rice, or mon cha. That delicious purple sticky rice that you eat with some home tournament food, and we miss so much this year. As per usual, I don't measure anything, sorry. But if you had to measure, let's say, one cup of purple sticky rice for every two cups of white sticky rice. Of course, you always rinse your rice before you make it, right? Afterwards, cover the purple rice with about 2-3 to three inches of water. Place the pot of purple rice on the stove top at a medium-high temperature. Don't allow this to boil. Once it reaches an almost boil point, turn it off. Sticky rice is sensitive. It can't handle boiling temperatures. Otherwise, it will become too sticky and ruined. While the purple rice is on the hot stove top, let's get to rinsing the white sticky rice. I like to use apple bran, but it isn't always easy to find. Same as before, rinse the white sticky rice three times. On the third time, strain all the water out. The sticky stovetop rice should be reaching an almost boiling point by now. Remove it from the heat and pour it all over the washed white sticky rice, then stir it all together. Allow this to sit for about 4 hours or overnight. This helps the rice not be so hard after steaming and dyes the white grains purple. The next morning, strain out all of the purple water. I like to use this mesh cloth to prevent rice from falling through, or if you're using a bamboo steamer, it prevents sticking. My mom sews these, and they're quite useful. Now, let's steam the rice. The amount of time depends on how much you're making. A good rule of thumb is, allow it to steam for an additional 15 minutes once it has reached a rapid steam out of the top. This will ensure your rice is nice and soft, not hard. Once the rice has rapidly steamed for 15 minutes, remove it from the heat and into a basket or bowl. I like to fold it around just a little bit to help cool so there isn't so much condensation. If you're just making it for your family, feel free to eat it from here. However, if you're going to pack the rice for an event or for a loved one's voyage, pack the rice into small Ziploc or sandwich bags. Be sure to keep folding the rice over to prevent so much condensation and help cool the rice for easy packing. You should really pack the rice in baggies while it's still warm. It's more pliable and easy to work with. Now stay tuned for the next video in which I teach you how to use this rice to pack a meal for a loved one's voyage or next time you go on a road trip. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Catch me on Instagram.